You know what I just did? I just walked out the door, saw a couple detectives out there, and I was about to start bad-mouthing you behind your back. But I stopped myself because my pops taught me that a man that talks behind someone's back is a coward. Wow, I actually appreciate that. Good, because I'm going to tell you directly to your face. No, you don't have to. No, I don't like you. I think you're a fake cop. The sound of your piss hitting the urinal? It sounds feminine. If we're in the wild, I would attack you. Even if you weren't in my food chain, I would go out of my way to attack you. If I was a lion and you were a tuna, I would swim out into the middle of the ocean and freaking eat you! Then I'd bang your tuna girlfriend. Okay, first off, a lion swimming in the ocean? Lions don't like water. Now if you place it near a river or some sort of fresh water source, that makes sense. But find yourself in the middle of the ocean, 20 foot wave, I'm assuming it's off the coast of South Africa, and you're coming up against a full grown 800 pound tuna with his 20 or 30 friends? You lose that battle. You lose that battle nine times out of ten. And guess what? You've wandered into our school of tuna, and we now have a taste of lion. And we've talked, we've communicated, and said, you know what? Lion tastes good. Let's go get us some more lion. We've developed a system to establish a beachhead and aggressively hunt you and your family. And we will corner your pride, your children, your offspring. How are you going to do that? We will construct a system, a series of breathing apparatus with kelp. We will be able to trap certain amounts of oxygen, and it won't take days at a time, but an hour, hour 40, no problem. And this will give us enough time to find out where you live, go back to the sea, get more oxygen, and stalk you. You just lost your own game. You've been outgunned and outmanned. Did that go the way you thought it was going to go? Nope.